might want to walk softly. Yes. Off I go. Time for more practice. And I'm off. Now let's see, which one first? And I'm off.
Just like you wanted. Saving the day. Enemy ahead. Watch out. Something I can help with? Next to nothing, I'm afraid. Perhaps there is little to know about this place, or I simply have not discovered its secrets yet. Something I can help with? Yes? What's on your mind? My mother was from Denerim, and I consider myself a Ferelden. Mother served an Orlesian noblewoman who lived here when Orlé ruled. When Orlé was defeated, and the common folk began to resent the presence of any Orlesian, the lady returned to Orlé. She took my mother with her. I was born in Orlé, and did not set foot in Ferelden till much later. Mother was always telling me stories of her homeland. I think she missed it. Mother died when I was very young. Lady Cecily let me stay with her. I had no one else. She was quite old then and she had me study music and dance to entertain her. It is unfair that I have more memories of Cecily than my mother. Strangely, the only thing I really remember of mother was her scent. She kept dry flowers in her closet amongst her clothes. Small white Ferelden wildflowers with a sweet fragrance. Mother called them Andraste's Grace. They were very rare in Orle. But enough about that. Let us move on. be heading up. Yes, I think these caverns are going up to the surface.
me of that time. What do you need?
that. I finished. Stop! You will go no further! You do not have the right to demand my name. You have defiled our temple. You have spilled the blood of the faithful and slaughtered our young. No more! You will tell me now, intruder, why you have done all this. Why have you come here? You did this all for an ancient relic. Know this, stranger. The prophet Andraste has overcome death itself, and has returned to her faithful in a form more radiant than you can imagine. Not even the Tevinter Imperium could hope to slay her now. What hope do you have? They are still within this temple. But why do we need ashes when we serve the risen Andraste in all her glory? So you are after the ashes. Hmm. Perhaps there is a way for you to make up for your desecration of our home and temple. It may be because I believe in second chances. All of us stumble through the darkness before being found and shown the light. Perhaps, through Andraste's mercy, her greatest enemy will become her greatest champion. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Father Colgrim. I lead the Disciples of Andraste. The ashes you seek reside atop this mountain watched by an immortal guardian who refuses to accept the truth of the Risen Lady. Now the ashes prevent Holy Andraste from fully realizing her new form. They are a remnant of her past incarnation, and she cannot move on as long as they exist. The Beloved needs to reclaim the ashes, to make them her own again. All it would take is a drop of her blood. Blood carries power, strength, knowledge. Through it, all the power that is held in the ashes will be returned to our lady.
The Guardian has foiled all our attempts to reach the urn. He keeps what power remains from the true Andraste. He knows the disciples, and we cannot touch him, for he draws his strength from the ashes themselves. But you could deliver our lady what is rightfully hers. I could just imagine the Grand Cleric if she were here. Her head would explode, I kid you not. What is this talk of blood and power? And he thinks Andraste is reborn. It is preposterous. Oh, I do not like this. There is nothing but madness in his words. He is a fanatic, and a dangerous one. Be warned, he means to lead you astray. The rewards for performing such a service would be great, indeed. No! He waits for pilgrims to come venerate the urn. He will assume that you are one of these. The task is simple. I give you a vial of the holy Andraste's blood, and you empty the vial into the ashes. Whatever magic was held in the ashes will be undone, and our great lady will be freed from the shackles of her past life! I don't know if I like the idea of us helping this Colgrim. Once that is done, you will have earned your place as our honored brother. You only need a small pinch for that. The rest of the power contained in the ashes must be returned to Andraste. There is a great power contained in blood. Through Andraste's guidance, we have learned to harness it. It can be yours, in exchange for a trivial task. A vial of blood emptied into the urn. That is all I ask. I will not make this offer again! Then we cannot allow you to leave here. To arms, my brethren! Andraste will grant us victory! And I'm off. <laughs>
place is practically infused with magic. I bid you welcome, Pilgrim. You have come to honor Andraste, and you shall, if you prove yourself worthy. It is not my place to decide your worthiness. The gauntlet does that. If you are found worthy, you will see the urn and be allowed to take a small pinch of the ashes for yourself. If not... The gauntlet tells the true pilgrims from the false. You will undergo four tests of faith, and we shall see how your soul fares. Before you go, there is something I must ask. I see that the path that led you here was not easy. There is suffering in your past. Your suffering, and the suffering of others. You abandoned your father and mother, leaving them in the hands of Rendon Howe, knowing he would show no mercy. Do you think you failed your parents? Thank you. That is all I wish to know. You are too hard on yourself. No one's perfect. Accept your failings, but do not let them govern your life. You could not have known what would happen. You did what you thought was best. And what of those that follow you? Alistair, Knight, and Warden. You wonder if things would have been different if you were with Duncan on the battlefield. You could have shielded him from the killing blow. You wonder, don't you, if you should have died and not him. I... yes. If Duncan had been saved and not me, everything would be better. If I just had the chance, maybe I... Ask your question, Guardian. I am ready. You are ever the advisor, ready with a word of wisdom. Do you wonder if you spout only platitudes, burned into your mind in the distant past? Perhaps you are only a tool, used to spread the word of the circle and the chantry. Does doubt ever chip away at your truths? You frame the statement in the form of a question. Yet you already know our answers. There is no sense in hiding, is there? Yes, I do doubt at times. Only the fool is completely certain of himself. And you? Why do you say the Maker speaks to you? When all know that the Maker has left. He spoke only to Andraste. Do you believe yourself her equal? I never said that. I... In Orlais, you were someone. In Lothering, you feared you would lose yourself, become a drab sister, and disappear. When your brothers and sisters of the Cloister criticized you for what you professed, you were hurt, but you also reveled in it. It made you special. You enjoyed the attention, even if it was negative. You're saying that I made it up for... for the attention? I did not. I know what I believe. The way is open. Good luck, and may you find what you seek. She celebrated the beauty of life, 
and all who heard her would be filled with joy. They say the Maker himself was moved by Andraste's song, and then she sang no more of simple things. Echoes from a shadow realm, whispers of things yet to come. Thought's strange sister dwells in night, is swept away by dawning light. Of what do I speak? A dream came upon me as my daughter slumbered beneath my heart. It told of her life, and of her betrayal and death. I am sorrow and regret. I am a mother weeping bitter tears for a daughter she could not save. I'd neither a guest nor a trespasser be. In this place I belong, that belongs also to me. Of what do I speak? That is not of what I speak. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. The debt of blood must be paid in full. Of what do I speak? Yes, my husband Hesarian would have chosen a quick death for Andraste. I made him swear that she would die publicly with her war leaders. That all would know the Imperium's strength. I am justice. I am vengeance. Blood can only be repaid in blood. The moans of the world stretch towards the sky's embrace, veiled in white, like a bride greeting her groom. Of what do I speak? The moans of the world stretch towards the sky's embrace, veiled in white, like a bride greeting her groom. Of what do I speak? Yes. I carried Andraste's ashes out of Tevinta into the mountains to the east, where she could gaze ever into her Maker's sky. No more fitting a tomb than this could we find. A poison of the soul, passion's cruel counterpart. From love she grows, Till love lies slain, of what do I speak? Yes, jealousy drove me to betrayal. I was the greatest general of the Alamoni, but beside her I was nothing. Hundreds fell before her on bended knee. They loved her. As did the Maker. I loved her too. But what man can compare with a god? She wields the broken sword and separates true kings from tyrants. Of what do I speak?
that is not of what I speak. All right. No man has seen it, but all men know it. Lighter than air, sharper than any sword, comes from nothing, but will fell the strongest armies. Of what do I speak? Yes, hunger was the weapon used against the wicked men of the Tevental Imperium. The Maker kindled the sun's flame, scorching the land. The crops failed, and their armies could not march. Then he opened the heavens and bade the waters flow, and washed away their filth. I am Kefer, disciple of Andraste and commander of her armies. I saw these things done, and knew the Maker smiled on us. My dearest child, you know that I am gone, and all your prayers and wishes will not bring me back. No more must you grieve, my boy. Take the pain and the guilt, acknowledge it, and let go. It is time. You have such a long road ahead of you, and you must be prepared. And so I leave this in your hands. I know you will do great things with it. Start. That's it! That's an actual bridge piece right there. If we can get all the bridge pieces to be solid, we can make it across. have been through the trials of the gauntlet. You have walked the path of Andraste, and like her, you have been cleansed. You have proven yourself worthy, Pilgrim, 
approach the sacred ashes. dreamed I would ever lay my eyes on the urn of sacred ashes. I... I, I... I have no words to express. I didn't think anyone could succeed in finding Andraste's final resting place. But here... here she is. I could not have asked for a greater honor than to be here. I will never forget this feeling.
Welcome back. You were gone for quite some time. Well, did you find it? Is that? Oh, there's some dust on... No, that's not dust. Oh, Maker, I'm not worthy to look upon. What... what was it like, coming to the urn, I mean? Tests? Interesting. Very interesting. Perhaps my research will not seem so much like blasphemy to the Chantry now. We must organize an expedition. There is so much history here, it must be studied. And... and pilgrims should be allowed to come to the urn. Ha! Let's hope there's a lot of Andraste to go around. I must return home. I have much to do. If you ever find yourself in Denerim, please visit me. I am not a rich man, but I have a small collection of interesting artifacts, and I do owe you a reward for coming to my rescue. I hope to see you soon, my friend. Stranger, with or fine weapon in arms, dwarven mate. Return. Might you have news? Unchanged, I'm afraid. We've tried more magical healing, but nothing works. As time passes, I become more and more convinced the urn might be our only hope. You have? Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation. Be calm, brother. You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isolde? I am here, my husband. And Connor? Where is my boy? Where is our son? He lives. Though many others are dead. There is much to tell you, husband. Dead? Then... it was not a dream. Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it.
This is most troubling. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, you have not only saved my life, but kept my family safe as well. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? I understand, but regardless of your motivations, I feel you are worthy of a reward. I would like to honor your efforts, nothing more. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you champions of Redcliffe. You will always be a welcome guest within these halls. And for you, Warden, a shield of the same make as those that have been given to our finest knights. We should speak of Loghain, brother. There is no telling what he will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man, one who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Caelan to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. I could unite those opposing Loghain, yes. But not all oppose him. He has some very powerful allies. We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance of fighting the Darkspawn. I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause, but we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative, but the unthinkable has occurred. Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet. A gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. Very well. I will send out the word. But before we proceed, I believe there is the matter of the mage, my son's tutor. He still lives, I understand. He does. He is in the dungeon, brother. Have him brought here, Tegan. I wish to see him. Jowan, what you have done is not in question. You tried to assassinate me and set into motion a series of events that nearly destroyed everything I cherish. What have you to say in your own defense? Nothing, my lord. Other than to say I am sorry. I expect no mercy for what I have done. I see. Grey Warden, have you anything to say on Jowan's behalf? Oh? That is... unexpected. And what would you have me do? As the injured party, my ability to see the merciful path is... strained. That I cannot do. He is a Maleficar, and I cannot unleash him on a land already racked by war and chaos. I am sorry. Jowan, I hereby turn you over to the Tower of the Circle of Magi. May the Maker have mercy on your soul. Thank you, my lord. Now, back to the matter of the Landsmeet. 
It will take some time to recall my forces and organize our allies. I would prefer to wait until that is done before calling the Landsmeet. In the meantime, I suggest you pursue the remainder of the Grey Warden treaties. We will need all the allies we can get if we are to defeat the Darkspawn Horde.